This is the first time Georgia has gone blue since Bill Clinton won the presidency in 1992. The time before that in Georgia, Jimmy Carter in 1976. We'll have reaction from both parties about this possible historic change in our state's political climate. But first, with the race so close, the Secretary of State says we can expect a recount. According to the last update from the Secretary of State's office, there are still about 4,100 absentee ballots to count and 13,000 provisional ballots. But it's not clear if all of the voters who cast those provisional ballots will verify them by today's deadline. There are also 8,400 military and overseas ballots that were requested and have yet to arrive. If all of these are processed and meet the deadline, there would be 25,591 votes left to count. Rebecca Lindstrom is following the latest numbers, and Rebecca, these votes could make a big difference. They could. As we've been telling you, any candidate can request a recount if the margin of victory is a half a percentage point. So in this presidential rate, uh, race, I, I did the math, and that would mean about 25,000 votes. That's as big as the gap could get to have that automatic recount. But in this race, we only have right now 1,544 votes separating the candidates. And if you think about that, that is only six hundreds of a percent. Voters went to bed election night with President Trump in the lead. But as the record number of absentee ballots were counted, that lead eroded until in the overnight hours Friday, Joe Biden pulled ahead. Right now, Georgia remains too close to call. Out of approximately 5 million votes cast, we'll have a margin of a few thousand. In a brief public appearance at which Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger took no questions, he announced a recount was all but certain. Interest in our election obviously goes far beyond Georgia's borders. The final tally in Georgia at this point has huge implications for the entire country. The stakes are high and our emotions are high on all sides. We were winning. President Trump has made allegations of voter fraud in Georgia, arguing the state is led by Democrat election officials. But the county offices are mixed, and those at the top. Secretary Raffensperger is a Republican. I'm a Republican. I don't make any bones about that. Anybody who knows me, and I've suddenly had a lot of people look at my Twitter feed and my LinkedIn. It's pretty obvious. The Secretary of State's office has consistently stressed the security of the election and says to date, there is no widespread evidence of fraud. But Gabriel Sterling, the voting system implementation manager, wouldn't elaborate on how many investigations they were conducting. Are we talking about dozens, hundreds? How many investigations I have really you guys been involved in? I really couldn't say right now, whatever we, because there's different levels of investigations. You do the phone calls to make sure there's any credibility. Then you're like, yes, there's credibility. Then there's a real investigation. So I'm not going to parse through that. All of this means that tomorrow we're going to have some kind of number and people on their own can look at those numbers and make their own decision as to who won. But those numbers will not be declared official for several more weeks. That's because there are legal challenges expected and we will be having that recount. Now, Secretary Raffensperger spoke twice today and his speeches were pretty much the same except for one added phrase, something that we haven't really heard before. I'll be telling you about that tonight at 6. Back to All you. Right.